An art show is a display of work, whether it's students or adults or professional working artists or um, any, any entity that wants to display work for people to enjoy. So every student got to have a piece in the art show. Um, almost every student. Uh, we had a couple of pe people who just get, didn't get theirs finished in time, but almost every student that took an art class at UTMS got to have at least one piece in the art show. Um, some students had more, just depending on how much work they were able to create this year. Mm, so tough. As a teacher, it's hard. Like um, Carter's watercolor is amazing, but so is Avery's, and um, I love the mosaics, the vector. No, I don't have a favorite. They're all amazing. The art show was judged by the Summit Lake Middle School art teachers this year. They chose a best in show award from each grade level, first, second, and honorable mention awards for each project. Um, so I have my shading practice in the art show, I have my final shading practice in the art show, and I also have my watercolor painting. Um, I finished the first two during class time, but the watercolor painting, I turned in very late. <laughs> so, um, I quite enjoy taking art, actually. Um, art's been my passion for a really long time, so, you know, have, being able to have this opportunity is a really huge deal for me. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm actually taking the advanced art class now. I just want everyone to remember that first ETMS art show, I, um, not to brag or anything, but <laughs> I won best in show for 8th grade too, so just saying. I have my vector portrait and I think my clay projects in it too. Um, my vector portrait took a week or two, um, and my clay project took like the same amount of time. I have my clay landscape, like my whole time, almost my whole time in art. I had one piece, it was the underwater watercolor that we made, like, it was one of our very first projects. Um, it took about, I think, three weeks, but I also had to end up taking mine home because I didn't finish it during the class period. I love art. <laughs> For Bison Plus, this is Aubrey Wineland, Sarah Fernandez, and Zoe Lasley. Teachers try to recognize their own students. My favorite color is pink. I play soccer for KCSG and I did cross country. Uh, favorite color is pink. KCSG. Uh, I'm assuming this is probably a girl. Probably Paige. <laughs> nope. Then I have no idea. Oh, it's Miley! <laughs> um, I play competitive soccer, my favorite food is stuffed crust pizza, and I love riding my bike. That's Wyatt Williams! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as he said stuffed crust pizza, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> My favorite color is purple. I did soccer. I do track and cross country. Morgan calendar? Yes. yes. For Bison Plus, this is Haley Link, Kate Green, Miley Beal, Abigail Edwards, and Anaya Rule. Today we'll be looking at Bison's favorite Bison Plus videos. Uh, probably the guess was in the box. It's like a flower. Whichever one I'm in. Um, whichever one he's in. Give subjects for Bison Plus, and you go and record and ask people questions about them. Well, my favorite video on Bison Plus was the video where they did the hands washing PSA. Hey, what's wrong? This kind of calls a bitch. I have a solution. What's your favorite thing that happened on Bison Plus? Guess what's in the box. <laughs> 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 
My favorite video on Bison Plus, uh, obviously the dad jokes. Best dad jokes are the ones where you groan or just lose yourself giggling till you wet your pants. Why did the fish wear a bow tie? I guess he was so fish -ticated. Uh My favorite memory from Bison Plus is the game show I get retrieved. Wendy's. <laughs> Stanley's. Jordan. Um, probably guess what the loco was with Atiana and probably the guess what's in the box with my group. Or oh, shoes. Eleven. Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Signing off, this is Vanaya Marshall, Maxwell Freeman, and Madison Green. What class would you like to recommend for the 7th graders that are becoming 8th graders next year? Um, I'm going to have to say broadcasting. I would recommend Mrs. Frazier's engineering tech and broadcasting. Engineering technology and industrial tech. Why would you recommend these classes? Uh, they're fun and engaging. I'd like to recommend broadcasting because the whole like program is pretty cool. You get to know a lot more people in the school. Yeah, really, they're just both really fun. In engineering tech, you get to build stuff, and in broadcasting, you get to do what's happening right now. I mean, you get to go out and interview people. You get to have fun. I would like to recommend Mr. Fear's iTech Tech class. It's a fun class. You get to build a lot of stuff. And overall, it's just a good class. I also like broadcasting because you get to go out and like interview people and stuff, so it's pretty fun. Broadcasting and facts. Why would you like to recommend these electives? Because in facts, it's fun to cook and um, yeah. And then in broadcasting, you get to experience new things with friends and like film videos and stuff. What is your favorite part of engineering technology? Um, probably the building. It we also. So we get to use Inventor, which is a um, it's a program in which like you can build objects and stuff. For Bison Plus, this is Ben Abington, Von Hollinger, Tristan McMurray, and Caden Agnor. Okay, so this food is bussin'. That must mean it's very good because when you bust people in, you get a whole bunch of people, so it must mean it's good. Um, that's like, it's really good, so the food is really yummy. Uh, really good? Yo, this is fire, or yo, this slaps. Hey, pizza is fire, because pizza is my favorite. Love it! It's also really good, like, just, I don't think it means like, yeah, it's just good. <laughs> that's cap. Maybe you're thinking really good on your brain or something because caps go on your head. Or maybe you're warm, they keep you warm. That's cap. <laughs> Not sure, other than good. I think that's a lie because no cap is the truth, I think. <laughs> it's giving fake. Oh, so if it's giving something, it's like, you're portraying life. You're like, ah, oh, that outfit is giving me life. It's giving me good vibes. It's giving something. It's giving fake. Um, it's, it's not true. It, oh, maybe it feels like it's not true. It's like giving off a bad vibe. Ah, oh, slay. Yes. So if you slay something, that means you know what you were doing. Play. Okay, that one's good. <laughs> like East Trails is slain right now. Literally hitting the gritty. That weird dance thingy that no, I won't do because I don't know how to do it. Oh my gosh, my sixth graders told me how to do this. So like it's a dance. <laughs> you do something like that. It's hitting the gritty. Maybe. Bro's got W Riz. That means he's really smooth. He's got a lot of personality, he's charming, maybe. Bro's got what? Wait, bro's got W wrist. <laughs> I don't know what to do that with it. W wrist. For Bison Plus, this is Sage Knip, Riley Grimmer, Kenzie Stacy, and Maddie Davis.